The morning sun shone brightly over Whimsywood, casting a warm glow on the cobblestone streets and the vibrant market stalls. Timothy Hare's ears twitched with excitement as he hopped out of his cozy burrow. Today was a special day. He had an important delivery to make to his father's friend, Mr. Maple, who lived deep in the enchanted forest. Timothy's father, Bernard Hare, handed him a neatly wrapped bundle of herbs and a basket filled with fresh vegetables. Take these to Mr. Maple, Bernard instructed. He's been feeling under the weather and could use these to help him get better. Timothy nodded eagerly. I won't let you down. He carefully balanced the bundle and the basket in his paws, his heart fluttering with anticipation. As Timothy made his way toward the forest, he heard a cheerful chirping up above him. Looking up, he saw his friend, Stella Songbird, her colorful feathers shimmering in the sunlight. Good morning, Timothy, Stella called out as she fluttered down to perch on a nearby branch. Where are you headed with that basket? I'm delivering some herbs and vegetables to Mr. Maple, Timothy replied. Would you like to come along? I'd love to, Stella chirped. An adventure sounds like fun. Just then, Ricky and Rachel Raccoon appeared, curious about their conversation. Did someone say adventure? Ricky asked with a grin. We'd love to join you, if you don't mind. Of course, Timothy said. The more the merrier. With his friends by his side, Timothy felt even more confident. They entered the enchanted forest, where the trees whispered secrets and the air was filled with the sweet scent of wildflowers. The forest was alive with magic, and Timothy's whiskers quivered with anticipation and excitement. As they ventured deeper into the woods, they encountered a challenge. A sparkling stream crossed their path, its waters flowing swiftly. Timothy paused at its bank, unsure of how to get across without getting the herbs and vegetables wet. I can help with this, Stella said, fluttering her wings. I'll fly around and find a safe crossing point. Stella soared over the stream, her keen eyes scanning the area. She spotted a series of large stepping stones that formed a natural bridge. This way, she called, guiding her friends to the stones. Timothy, Ricky, and Rachel carefully hopped across the stepping stones, but a little over halfway through, a stronger current made Timothy wobble. Ricky quickly tied a rope from his satchel around a sturdy branch on one side and tossed the other end to Rachel on the opposite bank. Rachel secured it, and Timothy used the rope for balance, making it safely across with the herbs and vegetables dry and intact. Great job, friends! Timothy praised, feeling grateful for their help. As they neared Mr. Maple's cottage, a low growl caught their attention. Timothy's fur stood on end, but he took a deep breath and stepped forward cautiously. Hello? he asked politely, and from behind a tree emerged a large, gentle bear. Hello, little ones. My name is Balthazar Bear. What brings you to this part of the forest? We're delivering herbs and vegetables to Mr. Maple, Timothy explained, trying to keep his voice steady. Balthazar Bear nodded. Mr. Maple is a dear friend of mine. You're on the right path. His home is just beyond that grove of trees. But beware, that way is guarded by mischievous sprites. Timothy thanked Balthazar, and the group continued their journey, keeping an eye out for those sprites he had mentioned. As they entered the grove, tiny glowing creatures flitted around them, giggling mischievously. Who dares to enter our grove? One sprite demanded, eyes twinkling. My name's Timothy Hare, and my friends and I are delivering a basket to Mr. Maple, Timothy said politely. Could you please let us pass? The sprites huddled together, whispering and giggling. Finally, one sprite stepped forward. We will let you pass if you can solve our riddle. If you fail, you'll have to find another way. Timothy's heart raced, but he nodded. We're ready. What's the riddle? The sprite grinned and recited. I come from the sky on days without sun, bring life and relief and cause animals to run. What am I? 
Timothy furrowed his brow, thinking hard. Stella, Ricky, and Rachel whispered amongst themselves. Suddenly, Rachel's eyes lit up. I think I know the answer! I think it's rain. It falls from the sky. The clouds block out the sun. It causes things to grow. And we run, because we don't want to get wet. The sprites clapped their tiny hands and cheered. That's correct! You may pass. With the sprite's blessing, Timothy and his friends finally reached Mr. Maple's cottage. An elderly squirrel opened the door, Mr. Maple's eyes lighting up at the sight of Timothy and the basket. Thank you so much, Timothy, for making this delivery, Mr. Maple said warmly. These herbs and vegetables are just what I need. Timothy and his friends helped Mr. Maple prepare a soothing herbal tea and a hearty vegetable stew. As a reward for their kindness and bravery, Mr. Maple presented them with a basket of freshly made syrup candies and beautifully carved wooden toys. These are for you, to enjoy and share among your friends, Mr. Maple said with a smile. Timothy beamed with gratitude. Thank you, Mr. Maple. This is really generous, but we couldn't have done it without each other. As they made their way back to Whimsywood, Timothy, Stella, Ricky, and Rachel enjoyed the sweet treats and played with their wooden toys, their laughter echoing through the forest. That night, Timothy returned home, his heart full of joy. He shared the adventure with his family, who praised his courage and teamwork. In the village of Whimsywood, surrounded by enchanted forests and magical friends, Timothy Hare learned that with a little help from his friends, any challenge could be overcome, and the rewards of kindness and friendship were sweeter than any candy. And so Timothy continued to be curious and brave, ready for more adventures with his friends by his side, knowing that together they could conquer anything. <laughs>